Now that we are on the last quarter of the year, the Department of Transportation, together with its attached agencies, held a press conference dubbed as Kapihan with Art, which aims to give updates on the status of transport projects. Here's first part of it. The first part of our Kapihan with Art coverage tackles issues, updates, and developments regarding land transportation. The discussion, which was headlined by Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, started off with a recent issue on the latest fare hike. It can be recalled that the LTFRB denied a commuters group's appeal to stop the said move. Here's what the DOTR Secretary had to say. Uh, let me just make uh, certain points very clear. Number one, matters like rates at LTFRB is decided on a collegial basis. Uh, yung collegial basis ko niyan is taklong condition niya. Ang ibig kong sabihin, majority of two carries a decision. So that kung merong dissenting, hindi naman po yung dissenting ang magpe-prevail, yung kong decision ng dalawa. Uh, having said that, uh, may decision na ho, dapat magapahit sa decision Secretary Tugade said the decision was based on the cost of fuel per barrel during the time that the proposal to increase the fare was submitted. He stated that he finds this a con with regard to the fare increase as the situation was different then and because it took a long time for transport agencies to decide on it. The DOTR secretary added that the consumer price index during that time has also affected the decision. Nung diniscuss ko yung price increase sa LTFRB, ano yung presyo ng gasolina per barrel? 82. Ngayon ina-award, ano yung presyo per barrel? 76. So makikita mo na antemano, the basis for the grant automatically was decalibrated. Kaya dapat ang proseso ko must be a predetermined matrix. The predetermined matrix is not unilateral. That is the one subject to hearing. But pag nagagriyan, is not saving ko. It becomes axiomatic on the basis of a predetermined matrix. Meanwhile, with regard to the status of motor vehicle plates, LTO Executive Director Attorney Romeo Vera Cruz stated that they have submitted the cards of motor vehicles registered from July 2016 to present to regional offices. Additionally, Attorney Vera Cruz said thousands of plates have been produced and will be delivered soon. I expect the, uh, the delivery of about 300,000 plates under the old contract, the PPI and JKG, ready na po yun for delivery within 15 days. And that is a delivery of black plates to be produced in the LTO plate making plant in within 45 days. And then another one po, a million plates with borders. So with borders, hindi po natin pwedeng gawin yun. Gawin po yun ang supplier because may border na po yun. And that it will be also delivered as soon. So marami po plates na magiging ma-deliver ma natin sa different regional offices. For motorcycle plates, the executive director said that they are working on the 5 million worth of backlogs. We will deliver about 1.7 million pieces of motorcycle plates, bigger ones, no? Because uh, there is a pending bill, although nasa bicameral committee na po, uh, mandating a bigger, bigger size, but leaving that to the LTO as to the size, so it will be much bigger, about 220 by 200 millimeter po size. Five million plates po ang maklag natin. So under the old contract, the old contract will address the bulk of the uh, maklag of motorcycle plates. Secretary Tugade added that there are factors that need to be considered in the production of plates. Alam nyo sa motorcycle plates, meron dyan development to na kailangan tandaan natin. Meron nung batas dyan na kung saan binabago yung given shape ng plate ng motorcycle. So noon, ang mga paggawa ng plaka ng uh, uh, motorcycle, single ngayon po, wall, yung shape ng ngayon yung mahaba na yun. So these are the uh, uh, developments in the pipeline that we have, which we have to consider in relation to the cut on the motorcycle. 
The transport secretary said that the production of plates is possible now since issues from the past have been resolved. In line with it, the transport secretary said online registration for plates has been made available. On the other hand, the LTFRB has given updates on the status of ride-hailing firms in the country. As of today, we have accredited seven TNCs, and then we also uh, gave 20,000 plus franchises, PAN, and then another 4,500 plus uh, CPCs for TNBS. In addition to this, Secretary Tugade shared that they are looking into welcoming premium taxis as part of the TNVS. Tinitigan namin yung posibilidad at option na magkaroon ng premium taxi. Uh, yan o, nakasaan sa batas yan, noon pa. Uh, sinisili ko namin kung uh, papano uh, makakatulong sa estado sa sitwasyon ng tinatawag na premium taxi. Kung makakatulong mo, expect some announcements in the future. Kung hindi, then uh, the uh, statements and the efforts on TN, BCs and TNCs there is now a move to privatize the motor vehicle inspection system, and Secretary Tugade shared its importance. The NBISO motor vehicle inspection system covers everything. Ano ko ito? Ito yung uh, equipment for system na kung saan. Lagay mo yung auto, check mo yung brake, ito yung lahat. Lahat will be uh, operated by machine. Pati yung the DOTR secretary also openly shared how it will go as well as the government's role in the whole process. Ang unang uh, buluso ko ng acquisition was government. Bibili ng mga MBIS, uh, 26 units. Ang budget po yata dyan, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, 700 million, more or less, dun sa 26. Ang sabi ko ho, Kung ang lahat ng MBIS, ang gobyerno ang bibili, napakaraming pera na. Kaya sabi ko nga, bakit hindi nyo pag-isipan na kung saan yung mga pribadong tao o kumpanya, sila ang magdadala ng MBIS in accordance with the specifications we have formulated. Hindi ko mo lahat siya ang MBIS, pwede ka magdala. Kailangan ugma at tugma dun sa espesifikasyon. Meron din mong undertaking yan na sila ay uh, magko-comply dun sa taripa. Kami ho magko-control ng taripa yan. Uh, and under uh, international practices, yung tarip ko dyan ng MBIS is because of a full tank of a regular uh, gas. That was the latest on the land sector projects of the DOTR. Next week, we'll have the latest on the railway sector here on Motoring Forum, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.